It was great, you know, especially, you know, Alan Taylor really wanted Asgard to feel like a real place and then injected very much that sort of Game of Thrones reality in there. Mm. And uh, it felt like it was, you know, a part of history. And there was a science fiction element to it still, which was, was beautiful, but um, it, there's a much more of a Viking, uh, you know, uh, footprint there, which, is, which I like. It's my favourite stuff, I think, with with the character of Thor is that relationship with Loki, and um, you know, I think only because of what Tom has done in each of the films, uh, it has it, you know, it is why he's in this one. You know, tr truly, all credit to his performance. I don't know that the plan was ever to have him in, in the, in you know, in it, you know, continue on in the films, mm -hmm. but um, he's just done such a good job, and to be able to have that shorthand with him and we pick up where we left off is just there's such an ease to it, and it's so much fun. That's good. Yeah. Yeah, he's just incredible, obviously, you know, and uh, uh, the most generous actor and, you know, whether he's off camera or whatever, he's always giving it everything and, and, and uh, is a constant sort of reminder of, wow, like, what's what's possible and, you know, where you should reach to. Mm -hmm. um, and, yeah, the, the, you know, the, they have a, a conflict now about sort of disagreement on how to kind of run through things, and I think that's always going to be there. That's, you know, we didn't want to all of a sudden just oh, well, now they're friends and they get along because it's not truthful anyway. You know, you, I sort things out with, you know, family members, but then a week or two later it <laughs> rears its head again, you know, and, and as does, you know, with Thor and, and with Odin. I think it's, uh, it was, it's exciting working with him, man. It's, it's always fun. Yeah, it's, uh, it's called Malekith and uh, basically an ancient race of... Uh, dark elves who have existed a long time before Thor's been around even and uh, hit their, their uh, I guess, uh, issue or, um, you know, uh, problems with the universe and, and their kind of, uh, you know, where they're headed. Thor is just a small fish and a part of that. And, um, and then thankfully Thor comes and steps in the way of what he's trying to achieve, which is consume the universe and destroy it and <laughs> have it all for himself, you know, but he's a he's a bad guy and is accompanied by some, <laughs> some other pretty deadly creatures. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, through through the film, uh, we, we are kind of, we brush the paths briefly, you know, mm -hmm. and uh, not until the sort of final battle where they're confronted by one another in the most serious way and uh, they get to slog it out until the final moment and uh, it was epic, you know, Christopher Eccleston's just incredible and, and uh, you know, we're both on many kind of wire setups and stunt routines being smashed into one another and into walls, and um, <laughs> we had a hell of a time. And, uh, you know, the biggest response has been the humour that comes through in the film, um, which was sort of unexpected but, but hoped for. And, um, and that's, the, I think, just so important to tie in these kind of fantastical worlds with that humour, you know, it grounds it in a, in a relatable way. Um, but the fans are, you know, as enthusiastic as they were the, the first time round, and, and it's 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 wonderful they've stuck with us. Yeah.